Here we are today standing in front of 2911 Antioch Road. This is a three bedroom, I'm sorry, four bedroom, three bath. It's in uh, Johnson City School District. It's built in 2004. It's uh, just a few minutes from ETSU, the VA Medical Center, and Johnson City Medical Group. As you can see, nice neighborhood of the same type of homes. This home sits on a big lot. Got these great little pear trees in the front yard. Um, this pole I'm walking to represents the edge of the lot. Runs all the way back to the bottom of the hill. <coughs> this house has got, uh, as I said, four bedrooms, a finished basement, two car garage. It has a partial unfinished basement with a workshop. Lots of room for the kids to play. We walk out here at this huge backyard. Uh, does have a jungle gym. It does stay with the property. A little fenced in area where they had an above ground pool. Um, kid friendly as I said. Great, great area to explore. Kind of taking a look behind us. Beautiful house, really is beautiful. Nice deck for entertaining. You have access from the main level and from uh, the basement. It is walk out. Take time today to come by and uh, take a look at this beautiful home. And let's go inside and see what we see. As we step in the front door, beautiful floor plan. Uh, Two-story foyer here. You can see the foyer lights. The, the two-story, the ceiling height, stretches right on into the living room. You can see the large bank of windows. Lots of light here. To our right is the formal dining room. This house is very, very well maintained. As you can see on the wall, the shadow boxing, hardwood floors, good sized dining room. Um, they have a hutch in here. Uh, a lot of the dining rooms and houses, you can't get that uh, china hutch in. As we step in the front door, um, you can see beautiful living room here. Uh, two story ceilings, ceiling fan. Um, you can see on the wall, it's already wired for surround sound. Um, and uh, I'll just try not to make you sick here as I turn around and look down. <clears throat> this little square outlet right here is the central vac. It is plumb for central vac. As we walk from the living room, um, you can see, once again, I just wanted to point out hardwood floors and a gas log fireplace, beautiful mantle. Step right into the kitchen, has an eat-in kitchen. See, it's good size, lots of room here. Leads right off of uh, the kitchen out to the deck. Nice open kitchen, lots of storage. Uh, it may look like a smaller kitchen, but if you take a look here at this door, this is a large pantry. Let me try to open that if I get too close. Lots of extra storage there. You can see recessed lighting in the kitchen. Over here we have a, a nice uh, home office, cabinets, desk. Just off the kitchen, main level laundry, nice size, storage, obviously entrance to the garage. Come back over here, we have the master suite. Good size master suite, uh, recessed ceiling, ceiling fan, plenty of room for a king size bed. That's what this is, a king size sleigh bed. All the furniture. So right here we have the master bath. You can see double vanity sink, jacuzzi tub, windows, lots of, lots of nice uh, light in, separate shower, and to our left here we have a nice master closet. You can see and access to the attic. Okay. As we come out of the master, we went straight up the stairs. This is where the other bedrooms are. Uh, bedroom one, good size. 
closet. Step back out into the hall. See in front of us, tub, full-size bath. You can see tile floors. All three bedrooms are right here, easily accessible to the restroom. All of them have good closet space. Right here is another door that leads to, this house, if nothing else, has a ton of storage. And you can see here, um, you know, this may, may or may not possibly be an area to finish off for a little more square footage, but right now it's being used as storage. So we turn to go back downstairs. Now we're back downstairs. We're going to take a trip downstairs to the basement. Okay, as we come downstairs, you can see it's all finished for the most part. Got a little office here. Great carpet, full bath. Lots of family room down here. Um, they have just a little electric fireplace. Just for aesthetics. Nice little family area to watch television. You can kind of see. Has uh, double doors that lead out to the backyard. We'll go out there in just a minute. A little bit of storage here. When we go out into the unfinished portion of the basement. It's currently a wood shop. You can see it has a window. This could be additional finished square footage if you'd like. Um, with the windows down here it could be extra bedrooms. Um, really just a nice flexible space. Use it you know however you need. We walk back in here. <clears throat> One of the things that I really like is on this house under the porch you can see that's steel. And this is all CMU block. Lots of storage. It's a great place for uh, a wine cellar or uh, just anything that you need to keep cool. Let me kind of take a look here at the water softener. Come back through. Okay, and as we came back up the stairs. Let me shut this off real quick. A washroom, just a half bath on the main floor here, just off the formal dining room. Let's walk back through um, the kitchen area and take a look at this great deck. Thinking about entertaining, family functions. Great place to barbecue. You can see the neighbors here, it's a kid friendly area. Everybody's got a really big backyard. Um, as you can see, there's a jungle gym here. It does stay. And there is a, a fenced-in area here where they had an above-ground pool. I believe that's negotiable. 